Hey guys, so welcome back to another one of my weird video ideas. I feel like this is gonna be another one where you read the title and you're just like, what is she doing now? <laughs> I basically saw my friend Jazz, I'm sure you guys all know her, her channel is Jazzy Bum. I saw her do a video where she tried on cheap wedding dresses and I was like, right, I wanna do one of those. I wanna see what I look like in a wedding dress because obviously I don't even wear normal dresses. So it would be really interesting to see what I look like in a full on wedding dress. And then I thought what I could do is do like bridal makeup and hair and do like a full on wedding day transformation kind of thing. So. That is what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be doing my makeup, my hair. I've got a wedding dress from eBay. And then of course I realized I'm gonna to have to get Alex's reaction to this. So at the end, when Alex gets home from work, I'm gonna sit him down on the sofa with his eyes closed as we do. And he's gonna open them and his girlfriend, bear in mind if you're new here, we're not even engaged yet. His girlfriend is gonna be stood in front of him looking like she's about to get married. <laughs> And that, my friends, is how you scare off your boyfriend. I just thought it would be a bit of fun and it'll be really funny to see Alex's reaction. He has no idea I'm doing this. So I'm gonna start off with my makeup and I basically just searched on YouTube for wedding bridal makeup looks. And I noticed that a lot of them are just very like soft, pretty looking makeup looks. So that's what I'm gonna be trying to recreate today. I'm gonna start off, oh, I'm gonna start off with this. Honestly, I just wanted to whack this out because I just love shaking it. <laughs> It's so cool. Anyway, I'm just gonna spray a little bit of this all over my face because it is a primer and a setting spray. So, okay, I just remembered how much I hate doing this. Like, I, I find it really hard to do the squirt because <laughs> ooh, I find it really hard to do the first spray because it's like, you're just waiting for that feeling. Oh, okay. Just be brave, just be brave, Sophie. <laughs> it's your wedding day. Can I open my eyes now? Hello. Oh, a cat has a bit. <laughs> Moon, I was just wondering if you would like to be my maid of honor for my wedding today. Got a little bit last minute, isn't it? I hope you're free. <laughs> Thanks, mate. I'm now just gonna do my foundation. I'm just gonna kind of do that as normal, I think. I'm also just gonna do my concealer and powder as normal as well. I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of comments on this video saying, oh, she's just trying to hint that she wants him to propose. And honestly, I swear down, I'm actually not. Like me and Alex are really chill about the whole idea of getting married. We've been together now for over eight years. So we have like talked about it. I know it sounds bad, but we just don't really care. <laughs> Like we know we wanna to be together forever, but we just are not that fussed about the whole getting married thing. We will do it one day, but it's when we can be bothered really. <laughs> Honestly, we are like the laziest couple in the world. I'm not even kidding. But I swear we're also the most chill couple in the world. Like we just, we're just not really fussed. <laughs> but I do still think it's gonna come as a bit of a shock to him when he comes home and sees me in a wedding dress. Like, yeah. Alex doesn't normally give much of a reaction in videos, but I feel like this one, surely he's got to give some kind of good reaction because <laughs> it's just, you know, it's just not the average thing to come home to, is it? Okay, so that is foundation, concealer and powder done. I think I'm gonna move on to my eyebrows next, but I'm gonna do them off camera just because I suck at doing eyebrows on camera. So I'm gonna do my eyebrows. I'll be back in a sec. I say a sec, I'll probably be about an hour because it takes me so bloody long. I'm now just gonna bronze up my face a little bit. I'm not gonna go for like a heavy contour or anything like that. I'm literally just gonna warm my face up a bit. I feel like that's quite soft. I just thought using like a warm bronzy color would be a lot softer than using like a full on contour shade, if you know what I mean. And then a little bit of blush. I mainly just went for this one because it's got a love heart on it. And I thought that kind of linked to the whole, what am I trying to say? <laughs> I thought it kind of linked to the whole topic of marriage and love. So we've got a love heart blush. I also have love on my t-shirt. But yeah, I'm just gonna take a bit of this. It's a nice like shimmery one. I feel like that's quite soft and pretty. And just as predicted, I've put way too much on. <laughs> I'm now gonna move on to highlighter. Oh my goodness, yeah, I didn't get my usual highlighter out. I'm gonna be using today a really like natural highlighter, which I would never normally do, but I thought that that would kind of work with the whole soft thing. If I say soft any more times in this video, I swear <laughs> I need to stop. This is probably one of the most, okay, see you later. <laughs> wow, how many things just jumped out of here? What else have I got inside? <laughs> Yeah, this is just like a nice natural highlighter. So I'm gonna put a bit of that on. Have I gone really orange? Uh-oh, I look like a what's it walking up the aisle.
it just gives your skin like a really natural kind of glow to it without it being like a full-on blinding highlight i've just realized i've not been saying what any of these products are which is really annoying i'll have everything written in the description box in case you want to know what i've been using i completely forgot <laughs> I'm now gonna do a bit of eyeshadow. I'm gonna prime my eyelids first, which I never normally do, but I'm gonna do that today because I feel like, well, I was gonna say because you'd want your eyeshadow to last the whole night, but I mean, I'm not actually getting married, so it doesn't really matter, does it? But, oh, wow. Well, well. Ew, what the hell? Is that what it's meant to be like? That's rank. Oh, maybe you're not meant to put this on top of a powder because I've already powdered my face, haven't I? I think I made a little bit of a cock up. Oh dear, wedding's off. <laughs> Okay, forget about that. I've worked it off. Um, I'm just going to move straight on to eyeshadow. I'm going to use this here because it's in my hand, so why not? It's the Anastasia Modern Renaissance Palette. So I'm going to take a bit of this. I don't really know what I'm doing, if I'm honest. I am just going to... Should I go for like a pinky look? I feel like that could be quite nice. There's some pinky colours in here. Although that's not very subtle, is it? Because they're quite bright. Oh, well, I'm going to do pink because pink is the color of love. Oh no, is that red? I'm gonna start off with this color here, Warm Taupe. I'm just gonna put that through my crease as the transition color. I am just gonna go for this bright pink. I'm not gonna take too much of it. It's in the shade Love Letter. Perfect. I'm just gonna take a really little bit of that and see what happens. I never do pink eyeshadow, so this could go very wrong. I'm now just going to take a bit of this gold shimmer in the shade Primavera, I think. I'm just going to take a little bit of that and put that on my lid. It actually hasn't turned out too bad. I kind of like how it looks, but it's just not really what I had in mind for this video. It's not exactly the most subtle, prettiest looking eyeshadow look. It's a bit like, whoa, purple, even though I thought you were gonna be pink, but it's definitely come out more of like a dark purple color. Never mind, it'll do. That is my eyeshadow done. I'm just gonna take a bit of this shimmer here in the shade Vermeer, and I'm just gonna pop that in my inner corners. Okay, I'm now just going to put on an absolute ton of mascara. I considered doing lashes, but you know, when I do lashes, they work 2% of the time. So I don't want to risk ruining things for the big day. So I'm just going to put on a load of mascara and hopefully that looks good enough. I'll be back in a sec. Because nobody wants to watch me go like this for a while. Maybe you do. That'd be a little bit weird, actually. And then finally, for lips, I think I'm just gonna go for like a gloss. I don't know, I feel like that's quite natural and pretty. It's kind of like a pinky colored gloss, so I think I'm gonna do that. Do a little, little bit of lip balm. <laughs> what was that? Just doing a little bit of lip balm. Mm. I feel like this will do the job. It is literally just like a lip gloss, but it's got a pinky tinge to it. Oh, are these the, these are the ones that smell minty. I love a bit of mint. I'm now just gonna spray my face with this to set everything and give it like a glowy finish. Ready? Oh my goodness, I've drenched everything. What? Most of it went on my lap. So there we go. This is my wedding makeup complete. It's not really that exciting, but I feel like it looks quite nice. It looks quite pretty. So that's my makeup done. I'm now gonna do my hair and I honestly don't know what I'm doing with that. I think I'm gonna Google like wedding hairstyles and see what comes up because I've not been prepared. Like I don't actually have a clue what I could do. But I tell you, I don't think I wanna leave it like this. Imagine that with a giant turd on your head. Bright hairstyles. Okay then. Well, I can't do that. I can't do that. I definitely can't do that. Oh no. <laughs> easy bride hairstyles. How the f is that easy? I think I'm just going to go for a kind of half up, half down kind of thing. And then maybe I'll curl the hair that's left down. I'm just going to go and try and do something with my hair off camera. And then I will come back and we can put the wedding dress on. The bit you've all been waiting for. Well, actually no. I bet Alex's reaction is the bit you've all been waiting for. But... Let me go. Let, let me go. <laughs> let me go. I'm gonna go. Someone remind me when I actually get married to let someone else do my hair for me. Wow. Zero effort went into that, but it will do. I'm now gonna put the wedding dress on. So I got this off of eBay. It was like 20 pounds, I think. And honestly, looking at it, it actually looks quite good for 20 quid. I'm not even kidding. Oh my goodness. It's like a full on big puffy dress, like the ones that kind of go tsh, tsh. In reality, if I was actually gonna choose a wedding dress, I would not go for something like this because I don't like dresses. So I want something to be as like minimal as possible. So I'd probably just go for like a straight, simple, plain kind of thing. 
Ugh, even that though, I don't want to wear that. But that's probably what I'd go for. But for this video, I wanted to go all out. So I've gone for like a massive puffy one. There is so much material here. And then the top of it is actually really quite pretty. It's like a little off the shoulder. Oh, Wait, what is going on? This is gonna be so, oh my goodness, don't let the cat see these dangles. It'll be after them. <laughs> but yeah, it has this little off the shoulder bit here. And then this is like the body bit, I guess. It's got like a pattern. It's got a little pattern on it. These are the only things that look like super cheap, these little bits here. So yeah, that is the dress. And then I also got like a really cheap little veil as well. I think it was like a few pounds. Oh gosh. The cat has gotten down. He's already attacking the wedding dress. It is just a bit of netted material and then it's got like a little clip so you can put it on the back. My wedding ring, of course, this doesn't fit me at all. This was just a ring that I had lying around, but I've got to have my wedding ring. <laughs> That's a bit sad actually, isn't it? That is taking it a bit too far. I'm putting that down. <laughs> anyway, I am gonna go and try to get into this wedding dress. Wish me luck. <laughs> Okay, so Alex is home from work now, so I'm gonna get his reaction before I show you guys. So they haven't even seen this yet. They haven't seen the finished result. Mm. You're gonna see it first. And yeah, I've sat him down. He's got his eyes closed. I don't even know what to say. Um, oh no, cat, no, please. No. I'd help, but I can't see. Okay, yeah, I literally don't even know what to say. So I guess just open your eyes. Mm, okay, I'm really nervous. <laughs> Why am I nervous? I don't know. All right. Yeah. You look nice. Oh, thank you. But I think I look awful like this. No, I honestly just thought it would be a bit fun to uh -huh. get ready as if it was my wedding day. Yeah, I know. My video ideas are getting weird, aren't they? I'm sweating. Anyway, I'm going to show these guys now. So I'm going to move the camera and we shall talk All about right. it some more. <laughs> All right then. All right then. All right then. So this is what the £20 eBay wedding dress looks like. Honestly, yeah, okay. It is cheap, but it doesn't look awful. I don't think it looks that bad. I feel like if you were on a budget, you could get away with something like this. It wouldn't look too bad at all. It's definitely too long. Although I think if I had some big heels on, I'd probably be alright. It's a bit big here that it kind of goes like that. It's not bad. I haven't even got heels on and I'm struggling to stand. <laughs> but yeah, this is the overall look. Oh, let's put the veil on. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I can't see. Oh no, I do not want one of these. That's so claustrophobic, hell no. I don't want one of these either. I don't want any of this. Can I please get married in dungarees or something? Is that a thing? Oh my God, wait, let's get married. Let's not. Let's not. <laughs> oh my God, people are gonna think I'm hinting. I explained that I'm not hinting and that, you know, we're both on the same page with marriage. Oh, the cat's gonna rip the dress up. Yep. I think you should wear the dress and I wear the suit. If this video gets 100,000 likes. Let's not, let's not go I'm there. Joking. <laughs> I feel like our wedding will be so like unconventional. Is that the right word? Like not yeah, normal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I feel like, like it's gonna be cool though. No, no dancing. No dancing from us. People can uh, dance. Other people can dance. <laughs> but yeah, we are not gonna do one of those dance things. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna wear. I don't really know. I think that when I walk down the strip, <laughs> um, I think we should have like some like heavy music playing or mm -hmm. Video game music. Don't you just think that would be so good? <laughs> um, I'll be right with either of those. I feel like it just sums us up nicely. Ooh. Ow. <laughs> I didn't need that bit of scalp. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm going to get this off now and we shall end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Did you enjoy coming home to seeing your girlfriend looking like she's about to get married? It doesn't happen every day. No, it doesn't. <laughs> Where's my invite? <laughs> Watch the wedding. Oh yeah. Don't worry, I haven't invited anyone. No. It was just, it was just my own lonely wedding. Give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you want me to do more weird videos like this. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you very, very soon. <laughs> wow. I might have to whip this out more often, it's fun. <laughs>